Hey guys, welcome to Growing in the Word on today. I'm Sandra Burnett. Today I'm going to teach another message on our speech. What should come out of your mouth is the Word of God. So if you're ready for this message, then I want you to remember to subscribe to my channel. Click that notification button so that you can be notified when I post new videos. Give me a thumbs up. Keep those comments coming. Now come on, let's grow in the Word of God. Today I'm going to talk about gracious speech, godly discipline of the tongue. Proverbs 18 and 21 says this, death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. So clean speech is very important for the believer. Our speech should be pure. Let me say that again. Our speech should be pure, not wild, dirty, filthy talking as a believer. That should never proceed out of a believer's mouth. Ephesians 5 and 4 says this, let there be no filthiness. In other words, no dirty stories. You know, I remember one time I was, I was in a place and, and there was a group of believers where I was and someone in the crowd began to talk sexual, filthy talk. And the Bible says that should never ever proceed out of a believer's mouth. Foolish talking, the Bible says, should not come out of our mouths. Uh, offensive words, indecent words, uh, repulsive words, disgusting words should never ever proceed out of the believer's mouth. And the Bible says joking should never come out of the believer's mouth, which are out of place, the Bible says. It's inappropriate for the believer, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Let there be words of giving God praise. Instead, let there be words of God, I thank you because you're gracious. I'm going to tell you something. There's power in just being thankful. There's power in the, in the word of rejoicing words coming out of our mouths. I know because many times, my story, let me tell you a quick story. I was going through something one time, a, a really tough situation in my life. And I had made up in my mind that I am going to praise the Lord instead of complain. Instead of saying, why me? Why me, God? Why you allow this guy? Why is this happening to me, God? I made up in my mind that in that prayer time, I was going to praise the Lord. And so as I began to praise God and give him glory and give him honor, all of a sudden, and this is so true, this is a true story. My spirit lifted up out of my body and I was in the corner of the room looking at my body. My body was in a position of prayer, but I was in the corner of a room, the real me, looking at the body. And, and, and what happens is when you make up in your mind that you're going to praise the Lord, the Lord is going to lift you above the situation. The body and the flesh you may go through, but you're going to be above it. You're going to see things differently when you make up in your mind. Instead of allowing negativity to come out of your mouth, you allow words of praise, words of thanksgiving to come out of your mouth. Ephesians 4 and 29 do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths. Nothing filthy. If it's not a wholesome, don't say it. But only what is helpful, the Bible says, for building others up according to their needs. Build them up. Tell them you can make it. Tell them, oh, it's going to be okay. Tell them God got you. Tell them, hey, you can get through this. The Bible says that it may benefit those that listen. Every word that come out of our mouth should benefit people. The Bible says it, that it may benefit those that listen. So be careful what proceed out of your mouths. So what should come out of our mouths? Listen, 
is words of wisdom. What should come out of our mouth? Words of wisdom. Proverbs 10 and 31 says, The mouth of the just brings forth words of wisdom. The mouth of the righteous bring forth words of wisdom. People say, oh, you, you act so old. Oh, oh, you, you just so, you just don't know how to have fun. Oh yeah, I know how to have fun, but I also know how to line up my life with the word of God. And when I line up my life with the word of God, then I find contentment. Then I know how to treat people right when I line up my life with God's words. So the Bible says the mouth of the just bring forth wisdom. But the forward tongue shall be cut off. What's a forward tongue? A forward tongue is a perverted tongue. It's a person using misguided words. It's a, a person using wicked words. A person uses using um, uh, unrighteous words, distorted words. And God is saying these kind of talk should not proceed out of the believer's mouth. So, so how do we change our speech? Say what the word is saying instead of saying negative words. The word works. Hear me now. If you work it. If you start letting the word come out of your mouth, you're working the word. And it's going to work. It's going to begin to change your speech. The word of God will work on our tongue. If we start saying what the word says and don't allow what's about to come out of our mouth. I remember one time I was about to say something and I caught myself. I said, oh no, because I know how powerful words are. You put words out in the atmosphere and it starts moving. You may not see it right away, but if you tell somebody, oh, you ain't going to be nothing, that affects some people and they think growing up or think there'll never be nothing. That just shows you how powerful our words is. So if I turn it around and say words of wisdom. If I turn it around and begin to say what the word of God says, don't you know my atmosphere going to change too? Don't you know it's going to cause people to have hope? Don't you know it's going to cause people to believe in themselves? Don't you know it's going to cause people to come to Jesus Christ? Because we are saying things that the word says. Mm -hmm. The word of God will remind us to be gracious with our speech. If we start studying it, if we start saying what it says, it's going to remind us. Oh, it's going to say, say loving words. With love and kindness have I drawn you. Love and kindness, let those kind of words proceed out of your mouth. And you're going to draw somebody to Jesus Christ. The Psalms 119. It says, how can a person stay pure? And this is how. By obeying your word. By obeying God's word. We will stay pure. Our words will stay pure. We won't say offensive and, and distorting words. We won't, we won't say filthy talk. It won't allow when we take the word of God and put on the word. Hallelujah. Put it on every day. It's an honor. Get up with it. Put it on. Because the word will start fighting for you. <laughs> It's a sword. It'll start moving in the atmosphere and start overturning things in your life. That thing you've been praying about, the word of God will begin to overturn it. If you begin to say it instead of saying negative things. You want the word to work for you? Start working it by saying what it says. And then the Bible said in verse 10, I have, tr I have tried hard to find you. Don't let me wander from your commandments or don't let me wander from your word. Because the word is so powerful. In the last verse, I have hid your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Lord, I, I'm taking your word and I'm meditating on it that I might not sin against you by saying the wrong things, causing people to be offended. Because the word will work for you. The writer says, I'm taking your word and I'm hiding it in my heart. I'm allowing the word to be there because the word began to, to work in my heart. It began to do things in me, bring life to me so that I can bring life to others. So Colossians, I'm closing, 3 and 16 says this. Let the word of God, let it dwell in you richly. In other words, take it and meditate on it. Take it and read it constantly. Let it dwell in you richly. And then let 
words that songs a, a word of thanksgiving let it drill in you richly that's what should come out of our mouths not negativity and I'm saying this last thing I promise you I'm closing right now if you're struggling with saying the right things you know how you can overcome it too fasting and praying Jesus said when his disciples said Lord why we can't cast this devil out or these demons out Jesus said this kind here it is right here in Mark 9 and 29 he says this kind comes forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting so sometimes you got to turn your plate over if you're struggling to overcome something and, the, and God will begin to work on you and he will help you. Listen, I want to thank you so much for joining, growing in the word on today. I so, so appreciate you. I want to tell you something that I'm having. And I know some of you are all over the world and, and you can't be there. But I'm having what you call a leading ladies networkers convocation this is our second one that we had we had one last year and we're having another one this year and I want to invite all of my uh, family in YouTube to be a part of this event so you can be a part of it by joining the zoom on the day of the event there will be a morning prayer there will be a morning workshop there will shops there will also be a morning service then there will be a night service where i will be consecrating and uh anointing leaders at this event so this event is for leaders so if you're a pastor's wife a leader in any capacity or just maybe you're not a leader but you want to be a part of it and if you're a man or a woman you can be a part of it all are welcome to be a part of this event but if you want to be a part of it i want you to email me your email address when you email me and say pastor sandy i want to be a part of the uh, leading ladies networkers second annual convocation and then what i will do is i will send you the link to it okay so that you can be a part of it because i want you to be a part of it my email address that i want you to email it to sandra burnett at sandra burnett ministries dot com email it to me and then i will make sure that i send you the link i love 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 you guys and i so appreciate you for joining growing in the word and remember subscribe to my channel if you haven't click that notification button so that you can continually receive videos and then also listen comment in the comment section let me know if you enjoyed this video let me know if you want to hear more growing in the word messages bye guys mm -hmm.